Are you guys ready for the new trailer for Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer? Well, so am I. Let's go! We imagine a future. And our imaginings horrify us. They won't fear it. Until they understand it. And they won't understand it. Until they've used it. Theory will take you only so far. I don't know if we can be trusted with such a weapon. But we have no choice. Oh, man. That's going to be good. We need to talk more about Christopher Nolan on this channel. The man has delivered peak cinema almost every single time. I don't think I've ever been disappointed in any of his films, honestly. There have been some that have been not as great. They're all at least really good. If there's one big weakness that I think Nolan has with some of his most recent films is that the musical the score <laughs> overpowers the dialogue way too often. I'm one of those guys that sits down with the Blu-ray like a few months later, pops on the subtitles and I'm like, okay, now I understand what they were saying. Cillian Murphy is playing the lead role, which is interesting because Murphy has been in something like four, I think at least four of Nolan's films, although he only had a minor cameo in The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Returns. So his main roles were in Inception and Batman Begin. It's not uncommon for Nolan to cast the same actors in his films, which is fine. I, I don't have a problem with that. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Depending on what side of the argument you fall on with whether or not the United States had justification to use atomic weapons. That's an, an I, I imagine that that will be an, a topic that will be brought up again during this film. And I think what little I know about Oppenheimer is that he was opposed to the use of atomic weapons for warfare. I think that you're going to see a depiction of, of him really struggling and wrestling with that because he's going to kind of, I, I can see him already like in the trailer hinting at he's going to struggle with the, the realities of deploying such powerful weapons and then down the road expanding to hydrogen bombs which are far more powerful than the atomic bombs were in the beginning. As a film, it just looks massive. Not just, I mean, it is, the word epic is, is thrown around so loosely, but it sounds so appropriate here. The subject matter of the film is just so, it's world changing. I mean, it's such an important thing that happened in modern history. There's not a lot of films that have dealt with this either. One thing that I am obsessing over is how on earth are they going to do a nuclear bomb practically? How are you going to depict a nuclear explosion practically? How is how is that going to happen? How on earth? 
earth could they have pulled this off? And I'm just thinking like, did they actually like go and set off an atomic bomb? Like a, even a tiny one? Like maybe that's what they did. They took, maybe they went and created a small scale atomic bomb and somehow got clearance to blow it up and film it. I don't know. That's that's a question that I cannot get out of my mind. The natural answer would be to, to do it with CG, but no one really doesn't like using CG if you can help it. The one thing we gotta talk about, the cast, the cast of this film is epic. The subject matter is epic, the cast is epic. So you got Cillian Murphy, who's playing Oppenheimer, and then Emily Blunt, who plays his wife, Kitty. You've got Gary Oldman, who will now have played two of the biggest leaders in the world in World War II, Harry S. Truman in this film. And then he also played Winston Churchill, Matt Damon, Florence Pugh, Florence Pugh, I don't know how to say her last name. Rami Malek, okay. Casey Affleck, okay. Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Jack Quaid. If you've seen The Good Boys, that's what I'm most familiar. That's what I think he's probably best known for. Olivia Thurlby, which I've only seen her in like two films, but she was so good in the newest uh, version of Judge Dredd. I think it was just called Dredd with Carl Urban. Josh Hartnett. That's a really interesting choice. I, I've been a fan of his for a long time. Fun fact, Josh Hartnett was actually in the final runnings to play Batman back when Christopher Nolan was kind of rebooting the franchise. And I don't know why he turned down the role, but he really, Hartnett really regretted not having the chance to, to work with Nolan. And I don't know why he turned the film down or I don't know if he just didn't get picked or he just turned it down, but so he's always wanted the chance to work with Nolan since then. And so here we are, you know, something like almost 20 years later and he's finally got that chance. But next year, there's some, there's some pretty cool looking movies coming out next year. But I think this is going to be one of those top films that I'm just, I'm going to be keeping an eye on. And I imagine it's going to be something worth seeing more than once. Anyways, guys, I, I'm just, <laughs> I'm so excited to see this film. It just looks good. Oh, man. It'd be interesting to see Silly Murphy in the lead role. He's played a lead before, but I've been a huge fan of his since, yeah, Batman. This looks amazing. All right, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Hope you like it. Be sure to leave your comments down below. If you like this video, give it a like or two thumbs up. Well, you can only give one, so at least give me that one. Share your thoughts below. Be on the lookout for more content from John Han Entertainment. Yeah!